Wrestling fans, hello Friday. Welcome to another coronavirus-inspired flashback Friday. Hope all is as well as can be expected wherever you may be. On a day we were supposed to be flying home from the Cauliflower Alley Club reunion in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're working hard here at MWF Studios on a not-so-warm spring day in downtown Melrose, Massachusetts. Happy to have you with us as we visit the Boston Wrestling Sports video archives. Dr. D. David Schultz is in the news again this week with the Dark Side of the Ring feature on him, wanted to go into the vault and hear from two Hall of Famers, Cowboy Bob Orton and the Iron Sheik, uh, who both competed at Madison Square Garden December the 28th, 1984. That was the night David Schultz laid out cocky ABC 2020 reporter John Stossel led to a major lawsuit. Check out the slap, then hear from the Hoffers. Fans do frequently get violent. Sometimes the police have to throw them out. Maybe fake violence breeds real violence, and not just among the fans seems to egg on bullies like six foot six inch 260 pound Dave Schultz. He used to be tag team partner of Eddie Mansfield, a wrestler who's just told us how every match is fake. I ask Schultz questions that I assume all wrestlers have been asked dozens of times. What? Is it a good business? Yeah, it's a good business. I wouldn't be in it if it wasn't. Why is it a good business? Because only the tough survive. That's the reason you ain't in it. And this punk holding the camera reading he ain't in it. Reading these rednecks out here ain't in it because it's a tough business. That's terrific. What is it? Is that all you got? Well, I ask you the standard question. You know? Standard question. I think it's just fake. You think it's fake? What's that? Is that fake? Huh? What the hell's wrong with you? That's open hand slap, huh? You think it's fake? Huh? What do you mean? Hey, what the hell is the matter? I'll tell you. Oh, John, I'd, I'd heard that this happened to you, and not until I saw it did I realize the impact of this. I hope nobody thinks that this was part of your story. You really were beaten by this man. Yes. What about the incident that took place that really got a lot of fame heading into WrestleMania with Dr. D. David Schultz when ABC wanted to do a supposed piece on Here's, what was going on at WWF at the time and instead Here's the they true won. Story. All right, let's say, what do we got? True story. Me and Don Morocco were sitting as close as you and I because we were on Next. Of course, <laughs> Next never came. <laughs> But when Dr. D went in there, David said to the Stasso guy, he says, hey, you can ask me anything you want to ask me. Don't ask me if wrestling's fake. Now, I'm sitting right here. Dave, I will not ask you if wrestling's fake. As soon as they rolled the camera, is wrestling fake? And that David slapped that some bitch, and I'm going to tell you, it sounded like a shotgun going off. And that chicken shit bastard ran down the hallway, <laughs> holding his ear, and Dr. D saying, yeah. come on yeah. back here and I'll slap you again. <laughs> and see, he should not have lied today. He, right. I mean, he right. told him that lot. I won't ask you that. And that's the first thing he asked him. And I don't blame him. I'll tell you what, if it had been me, I'd have done the same Knocked thing. Right out, I would have. But it's a shame because it cost him his job yeah. and it shouldn't have. Yeah, he not, was only around yeah, up because he did it for the business. Sure uh, he yeah. did. Exactly. He was only around until February yeah, '85. He missed out on Mania. Yeah. Shiggy, baby, your thoughts on that? I don't know you've, you've talked oh, about. Oh, I was Humble. there. He had one, and he gets out another one, and he ran away. I tell you, you better go before we kill you. Don't never have to get that question. <laughs> yeah, because it was a, uh, you know, try to make a bad for our reputation or our sport. Like Paul said, our business is still a sport. Not in the sermon. And that's a Ronnie John says so ask a foolish question from Dr. Dave. That's because he was all mad. And the man really was never able to make a great income in the world of wrestling again. He oh, kind of just faded ball. off the map, yeah. Which was a shame in and of itself. He was I a, think it was a bounty hunter. I think he does as good as the dog or whatever. I, I think he puts him away. Yeah, we, we met him a couple of years ago in New Jersey, and he had some interesting yeah. stories to tell about what he does out in yeah. the boondogs of yeah. Tennessee. So he, yeah, he's, no, he's, he, always, I, he's not one I'd want on my bad very side. Very resilient. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to say the I least. I liked him. You can check out the entire WrestleMania 1 Roundtable Studio Shoot interview with the Iron Cheek, Bob Orton, and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, along with dozens of other interviews, on our Patreon channel. For $6, you can keep wrestling legends working. You can find the link below. Mr. USA Tony Atlas has been podcasting away with me on new full-length Wrestling Insider Audio episodes. We're dying to get Tony back into the studio, but for now... We're still having fun for your enjoyment on our Facebook and YouTube channels. Tony remains available for personal appearances, custom artwork, and even personal phone calls. Who needs a 30-second cameo video when you can have a person-to-person 
Conversation with Tony you'll remember for a lifetime. Links below. I hope you enjoyed this video, fans. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you more great wrestling content. We'll be back next week with another Flashback Friday. Until we speak again, you and yours, be well, stay healthy.